Mount Thomas 260 right of VKC. He's approaching Rabbit Creek Bridge, but he's not slowing down. Mount Thomas 260 to VKC. It looks like he's lost it. Tim, Tim, Tim! Oh, God. Tim. Tim. Please, God, may the eternal soul of Tim Sullivan, through your infinite mercy, be absolved of all sin uh, and uh, and find a, a new and glorious life in your presence. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Down here. Tim Sullivan, he's, he's dead. How long? About 20 minutes. I, uh, I said a prayer. Well, it'll make it easier for Bernadette. Telling her, I mean, that kid's been in trouble since he could walk. I don't get it. What happened to me? Well, it's a little too early to say, but no broken bones and no serious injuries. Doctor, he was dead. I took his pulse. John Morgerson took his pulse. He was dead. Oh, no offence, Sergeant Croydon, but waking up to see you isn't exactly my idea of heaven. <laughs> the doc said this sort of thing could happen. You know, someone looks dead, but they're actually still alive. Yeah, well... Must have nine lives in. Considering the scrapes you've been in in the past few years, son, I reckon you used up number eight tonight. Yeah, but, but not really. I mean, you know, how can I come back to life? I don't know. Oh, Tim? Tim, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Mum. They said there was an accident, that the, the car went into the creek. Look, shh, I'm OK, all right? I'm in one piece. It's no big deal. Bernadette, the most wonderful thing happened tonight. Come back tomorrow. Oh, sorry. What's the matter? You, you look like you've seen a ghost. <sighs> well, you could say that. Come in. Come and sit down. Well, by the time I got to him, uh, the car was filling up with water and... Uh, yeah, blood all over the place and uh, I dragged him out and uh, managed to get him up onto the bank and uh, I tried to wash the blood off his face and um, and he died yeah. well the Am Ambos arrived and uh, 
John Waterson checked him and he, he said he was dead too. And uh, I put him on the gurney and uh, I'm about to cover him up and he, uh, he coughed and sat up. That's not possible. He was dead. Dead. I, mean, I prayed for him. Well, it uh, looks like your prayers were answered. So, he was dead. Gone to the Great Games Arcade in the Sky. Boss ordered him with Keith Purvis's best creek water. Bang. Tim Sullivan. We're back to life. Excuse me, I think I've got to go and burn a witch at the stake. And this actually did happen, did no, it? No, it didn't happen, but John Waterson really thinks it did, though. Here, ask, ask well, OK, me. boss, what's your version of what happened last night? What? You know, Lazarus. Oh, where did you hear this? John Waterson? BJ reckons you'll be doing the loaves and fishes trick next. Or maybe a stroll on Lake Widgery. But he's not exactly laughing, is he? Maybe it's not a joke. Oh, come on, guys. This stuff happens all the time. When? People wake up in morgues, knock on coffin lids at funerals. Yeah, yeah, my granddad reckons he saw a few people like that in the war. People who should have died, he pulled through. All right, we've got one believer here. What about you, Benny Boy? What's the salvo position? PJ, I won't laugh at your beliefs if you don't laugh at other people's. Uh, Father Brian, can I help you? I need to talk to Tom. John Waterson's been to see me about what happened last night. Before things get totally out of hand, I wanted to hear your version. And what's John saying? A miracle. There has to be another explanation. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I would have thought somebody in your position would crave a miracle. Oh, yeah, if it happens a long way away. Portugal, that's a good, safe place for them. If this goes any further, the bishops get involved and things get extremely complicated. Tell me what happened. Well, that's just it. I don't know. Look, I'm a policeman. I live by facts and evidence, and I have to be able to trust my own powers of observation. And what did they tell you? Young Tim was dead. Absolutely no doubt about it. I said a prayer for him. And then he was alive again. Are you saying your prayers were answered? Oh, I don't know. I... Look, I, I, I was praying for his eternal soul. Remember the story of the Roman centurion? He was, he was a bloke like you. His servant was sick. He asked Jesus to come and heal him, but not to come to his home to do it, because he knows that if Jesus wills it, then it can happen. What are you... Are you saying that what happened out there is actually possible? Anything is possible, but did it happen? That's not for me to say. Father. death? Tim? Should you be out of bed? The doctor said there's nothing wrong with me. I brought him in to say thank you for raising him from the dead. Mum, please. Get back. please. You're making me sound like a head case. Oh, do you wish it told? Well, it's his fault I totaled the car. He had Hang a big chase on a minute. Oh, I might have done something wrong, but... Thank Senior Sergeant Croydon. He doesn't have to thank me. All he has to do is thank God he got out of that car alive. You see what the Senior Sergeant says? You thank God. Thank God. Great. Great. I should be shoving that down my throat for the rest of my life. Tim! Tim, come back! Tom, I'm, I'm sorry. Tim! Tim! Anybody laughs, they can forget about weekends off till the end of time. Oop, last person who did that, a lion item. Yeah. Yep. Something you want healed, Doyle? Toothache, flat tyre. Was John Waterson told PJ that you anointed Tim Sullivan? Anointed? Oh, what's he talking about? The nearest I've ever gotten to anointing anything was helping a neighbour dip some sheep. Well, he said that you poured water from the creek over his head and... and it... I was simply trying to wash the blood off his face to see how badly he was hurt. But considering what's in that creek, I was hardly doing him any favours. Oh. But look, Doyle, I'm a mick, you're a mick. We, we don't dip people in creeks. We'll leave that to the Pentecostals. I said a prayer for him, that's all, just like you would have done. Just... But that's the thing, boss, I did. When Mum was dying, I prayed and I prayed. And same with Robbie and nothing happened. Maybe I'm just the worst prayer in the world, eh? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just thought that... Look, Maggie, whatever happened out there, I didn't do it. 
It's a sign from God himself. I tell you, it's turned me right around. You can't believe that. Fucking bull. God moves in mysterious ways. Yeah, well, so did Chuck Berry, but he didn't bring anyone back to life. Just in time for the big debate. Uh, they're ready, I'll get the point. Oh, I'm Tom Croydon of faith, he loved to be a favour. I'd have thought you'd be interested, Mr Purvis, seeing as it happened on your property. What? Well, the kid crashed his car into Rabbit Creek. My stock had to drink that water. Tom used that water to anoint Tim and he healed him. Oh, well, of course it doesn't necessarily have to be Tom, does it? I beg your pardon? Yeah, well, ask any of the local vets. My stock drink that water and they are remarkably free of disease. Keith, we're talking about a miracle here. Not necessarily. Some water does have very special, nay, even holy properties. It's been known since ancient times. Isn't that right, Constables both? Oh, quite right, sir. Bath, Baden-Baden, Rabbit Creek, the list goes on. So now it's the water that healed Tim so. Yeah, my water. Uh, the water in my creek, yeah. That's blasphemy. It could be scientific fact. Oh, don't be No, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get away for a week, check on my property. Now, I know that you and I haven't exactly seen eye to eye over the years. Yeah, well, it's hard to see eye to eye when you're screaming at me. Point taken. Your mother just wants what's best for you. Now, why do you carry on the way you do? I don't know. I can't help it. I just want to do my own thing. How old are you now? Sixteen. I can leave home if I want, and I will too if my but mum keeps going on. Last night was your real second chance. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Well, you mean, um... You mean maybe this is a chance for me to change? Yes. Well, it might help me change if, if we forgot about the charges. You stole a car, you drove dangerously, and you ended up in the creek. Yeah, well, maybe I'm a different person now. Well, legally, I'm afraid you're the same person, and there is nothing I can do about the charges. Yeah, well, I've been thinking about it last night. I can remember a lot more of it now. When I was in the water, I, um... I remember I was, I was walking along this, this corridor. And there was, uh, this soft light and, and music. And, uh, and my grandma was there, and and um, and other people I've known, like my auntie who died, and, and my granddad, and they were they were beckoning me along this this archway made of gold, and um, then I heard a voice. What did the voice say? Would you like fries with that? Oh. It's golden archway. No, I had you come for me. Out. Out. Oh, come on, Sergeant. Come on, out. It was a joke. Now, yeah, Thomas, well, police, senior time. detective Hashem. Watch my time. Timsy! Uh, I'll just check. Uh, no. Uh, no, Timsy, he's, he's tied up at the... Mo oh, Timsy, I don't believe in miracles. You don't believe in miracles, so will you do me a favour and go forth and multiply? If I ought to put you in charge of public relations. Well, they've already got you doing the Lazarus bit. What's next, the crucifixion? You've got to stop this. PJ, I didn't start it. See, a bit of a crowd gathering outside, boss. We were going to feed him, but we ran out of sandwiches. Maybe you could wave your hand over the box, boss. Oh, Tom, there's a, a few people that want you to share about what happened last night. I don't know what happened last night. Well, you can't deny that something miraculous happened at Rabbit Creek. No, not denying anything. Something happened, but I don't know what it was, and neither do you. Know. Look, I've got a lot of work to do, so why don't you all just go home, all right? A public announcement. That it wasn't me. That I don't have a direct line to God. Then the whole town can go back to normal. It's not that simple, Tom. We all have a direct line to God. Oh, I don't want platitudes, Father. Look, the whole town's gone mad. John Waterson's got a whole mob of people camped at the police station. You can make them go away. How? By telling them it wasn't a miracle. Is that what you think? I don't know what I think. You said yourself that miracles happen somewhere else, Portugal. They don't happen here, not in Mount Thomas, and certainly not to me. It's out of my hands, Tom. I can't say that nothing happened when the church might decide next year or next in a hundred th years that something did. We'll all be dead by then. But the issue might not be. That is not an answer. That's a homily. Tom, the questions you're asking are too big for a country priest. I, I don't know any more than you do. Brian, you're, you're doing a Pontius Pilate on me here. You can't just wash your hands of this. You're supposed to be the intermediary between me and God. Why me? I didn't ask for this and I don't want it. You might not want it, but God might. Why? And why that kid? I mean, why would he save that kid and let Nell die? Where was the miracle when I needed it? Why would he take her away from me and let Tim Sullivan live? Well, where's the justice in that? You tell me. Tom, I can't. But if there are answers, there's only one way to get them. Oh, you know I need to work, I'm telling you, 
you say, if you don't get that water flowing, we will. Well, let me tell you, it's my creek, my water, and my land you're standing on. Is there a problem here, gentlemen? This damn the creek, our crops will die. You've got to do something about it. He'd be exceeding his powers if he did that, wouldn't you, Sergeant? Yeah, well, he's right. It's not actually a police matter. But it is an offence under the Waters Act. So what are we supposed to do? Well, you'll have to go to the Rural Water Authority and they'll proceed against Mr Purvis in the court. Oh, that'll take forever. He can't just stand the creek. It belongs to all of us. Of course it does. It belongs to everyone. Not to you, not to me, but to everyone who comes here to partake of the holy water. Everyone who is sick, everyone who needs treatment for their aches and pains will come here to bathe in the lake that's forming here. So now it's holy water, and I don't suppose you're going to be charging for this tea. Oh, five, ten dollars perhaps to cover expenses. Cheaper than the doctor, but... Look, uh, Tom, sorry to bother you here. What Keith Purvis is doing is wrong. He's, he's got to be stopped. John, it's not a police matter. Could you just have a quiet beer in peace? Get it all over. I've all seen One Day Wonders before. Thomas, the local police sergeant, has been moonlighting as a miracle worker. Senior Sergeant Cole Croydon of the Mount Thomas Police allegedly raised an accident victim from the dead. Just goes to show sometimes there is a policeman around when you want one. Mm. Now today... Good night. Uh, sorry about that, Tom. I, the Cole Croydon thing. I, I did give him your right name. Really? Next time, give him your own, will you? I remember, Tommy, when he was a nipper. There was always something special. Glory be to God in heaven. Peace to those who love him well. I'm not saying anything. According to Sergeant Croydon and the ambulance officers, I was dead, you know. You say you were dead? No, they say it. And then, uh, I don't know, it was just like this burst of energy ran right through him. It was like electricity, and then I was back inside my body, sitting up and feeling great. Senior Sergeant Croydon, could we have a word? No comment. Tim Sullivan said you brought him back from the dead. No comment. But if you did save him, don't you think you have a duty to your followers to help them tell them what you were feeling? Sorry, ma'am. Thomas, please act in such a suit. I can't name. promise anything now. Well, if you uh, leave a yes, message, I'll definitely pass okay. it on to you. Yeah. Inspector Falcon Price, I'd right. like a word. Thank okay, you, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Inspector. No, I didn't talk to the priest. I did not annoy him. I wouldn't know how to start. Yes, I pray for him, but last time I looked, it wasn't against the regulations to pray for a dying teenager. There's a Barney on down the Imperial. Come on, you like cut it out. That'll he, do. He's exploiting people. They don't have to buy it and get the benefits, do they? What's going on here? Uh, just selling some Not water. in here, you're it's not. It's misleading advertising. I think Mick like you. I thought you believed Another Mick can water. call me a Mick. You can't. Constables, can I sell you some holy water? I don't I think so, sir. I told you, not in here. Too right, <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Oh, John, you're just playing into his hands. Someone's got to stop him. People could get poisoned drinking that stuff. Just a minute, I thought it was holy water. Isn't that right, Father? Don't make jokes about things you don't understand, Mr Purvis. When your phone just said there was a problem. Two nights ago, a miracle happened, and he's cheating the whole thing. Yeah, I'll know the age of miracles has truly arrived when you lot stop bickering for a minute and start getting along with each other. There's a mass at 11. You've got time for this, you've got time for that. I'll be having a few words to say about miracles and faith and what you do with it. Come on, John. What you're doing here, no good can come of it. Holy water, Father. Can you say that one more time? I'll sit you on your ass. Where have you been? Oh, I, I went to the uh, 11 o'clock mass at St. Stephen's. What did he have to say in the sermon, that we should all build bridges? Well, basically, he said that... When it comes to miracles, the proof of the pudding is in how they affected our faith, and the proof of that pudding is how that faith affects the way we, we treat other people. That's a lot of puddings. Thank you for that deep insight, Hashem. Yeah. You uh, got a moment? Mags, do, do you seriously believe that the boss raised that kid from the dead? PJ, whether a miracle happened or not, it isn't, it's not up to me. That's up to the church to decide. But today, Father Brian had something to say to me that I needed to hear. Have faith and love one another? Basically, yes. In a job that's not very easy sometimes, is it? No, not when they're chucking up the back of the van and beating the missus, no. no. you are such a cynic. Mags, I'm a realist. Is that what you call it? I mean, honestly, do, do you really believe in miracles? I don't know. I... How else to explain what happened? That the kid was dead one minute, he was alive the next. Well, maybe he wasn't dead in the first place. So you don't believe what the boss was saying? No, it's not a matter of PJ, believing. Do you know what your him. problem is? 
You've been a detective for too long. You find it hard to accept that what happened may be inexplicable. It's something that scientifically you, you can't just push away. It, it's a mystery that you can't solve. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but there's been a theft from St. Stevo's. Someone collared the collection plate. Are you were here, Maggie, you know how many it's ended? In the hundred, hundred and twenty, I'd say. So all up, there was a fair amount in the basket. And the baskets get taken to the secretary? Older boy, were you, PJ? Oh, but for my sins, father, yes. Mm, anyway, that's where it happened. One of the baskets was spilled. Apparently, uh, quite an amount of money went missing at that time. Any idea who was in the room when it happened? Well, one was John Waterson, the other... It's all right, Father, I was here. I know who it was. Tim Sullivan. His mother volunteered him for the job. I saw him hide this when we got home. It's big enough for an Easter collection. Tom, I don't know what to do with him anymore. Yeah, well, he's always been in trouble, hasn't he? Well, you weren't so different, if I remember correctly. I, I never stole cars or made a grab for the collection plate. He's young. He, he doesn't know what he's doing with his life. Tom, you could turn him around. Oh, Bernadette, what, what makes you think I know how? You brought him back. God must have given you a reason. Proud of yourself? It's not my fault. I'm sick and tired of hearing that from you. When I think of the decent people I've seen die, and you're the one who gets a second chance, and what do you do with it? You break your mother's heart by stealing from the church. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You're going to take that back to Father Brian and cop whatever penance he hands out, and I won't add it to the list of charges against you. This is the last chance you ever get. I just say sorry, that's it. No, you do whatever it takes to make amends. Look, could you please go home? There is nothing to see. Just get him over to the church and get this over with, eh? Tom, I will never forget this. No, neither will I. Senior Sergeant Croydon. Look, I really do have nothing to say. I can walk. Oh, I've been healed. This happened again. Do you have any comment now? Uh, yes, madam, can I help you? Mrs. Hashem? You're PJ's mother. Uh, Patrick's mother, yes. I, I'm Maggie. Maggie Doyle. I've seen photos of you. PJ, he, he's um, he sh he's shown me family photographs and and why don't I I'll take you through to his office? At, come through. Yeah, come. Through. I'll, uh, let me take that for you and I'll just. Uh, oh, PJ, there's someone here to see you. Patrick. Mom? Oh, Mum, what a nice surprise! What are you doing oh. here? Mm, how fantastic to see you. You you you've seen Maggie Doyle, obviously. You shot on my photo. Well, yeah, well, we're, we're one big happy family here, Mum. Now, this is Ben Stewart, um, Joe Parrish, and oh, this is Jumping Jack you. Lawson right here. Oh, and Sergeant Croydon, I just saw him perform a miraculous healing outside. Well, Mum, you can't always believe everything you see. Patrick, the man was on crutches. He touched your sergeant, and he was healed. He threw his crutches away. Mum, there's got to be an explanation for that. Patrick, Come on. Patrick, Come I saw what I saw. Yeah. Boss, PJ's mother just arrived. That's nice. And she said as she arrived that she saw you heal a lame man and he threw away his crutches. Yeah, he was practically dancing a jig, yeah. What, so, it, so it actually happened? Uh, Doyle, it? it looked like it happened. Look, I, I happen to believe in miracles, but I do know. I don't perform them. That much I do know. So... So I want you and PJ to find out everything you can about this bloke. The shoe size, what he eats for breakfast, anything. And prove that I didn't heal him. If anybody wants me on police business... I'm over at St David's. The inspector isn't exactly thrilled with the publicity I'm attracting. Sam Cordy's daughter. She's 23 now. Um, a beautiful girl. It's too girl. young for me. No. It's 23. I'm sorry to interrupt. Tell me, do you think there is something wrong with my son? Hmm? Well, I mean, he's good looking. He's still quite a good catch. But for some reason, I don't understand. He won't give me any grandchildren. You seem like a very nice girl. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. She doesn't need to be a Lebanese girl. Uh, Mum, you see, <laughs> M mm. Maggie and I, we work together. Now, now how about if I get you back, I'll get you back to my place, eh? 
Okay. But I want to see Sergeant Croydon. I'm afraid he's gone to St. David's to see our inspector. But he'll be back later. Uh, yes, he will, which reminds me, he's asked us to investigate the, uh, the gentleman who threw away his crutches. Well, uh, right. Investigate him? Why? The man was healed. It's as simple as that. Well, Mama, we've got to obey orders, huh? <laughs> now, let me get you back to my oh, place, OK? You get out of here, all right? Maggie and I work together. You... Uh, look, I'll tell her about us soon, but she takes careful handling. Bathroom's just down the hall, Mum. Thank you. That is your idea of careful handling. Your mother is now looking at my shampoo, my conditioner, my sundry items and makeup, and the red lace bra that I left hanging over the shower screen this morning. Well, maybe she thinks I'm a cross dresser. That's not funny. Is this your colour? Are you serious about my son? Well, yes, I love him. Oh, and, and I love her. Then what's stopping you? A woman loves a man, a man loves a woman. They get married and have children. It's the history of the world. Mum, it's not that easy. It's, it, it's, it's the, the job. job. I think we better get to know each other. Well, I, I would like that very much, Mrs. Hashem. And that's for not bringing her to meet me. How dare you treat a woman like that? Well, well thanks for coming in, Mr. Casey. Well, it's a pleasure. So, this is where it all happens, eh? Just a couple of questions. Yeah, this won't take long, will it? I've, I've got to be at the hospital for uh, x-rays in an hour. Relax, sit down. Yeah. Sorry, you said x-rays? Yeah, for the, um, for the TV. You know, to, for, to compare with my old ones, you know. Sort of before and after shots. Before and after? Yeah, being healed by Tom Croydon. That's exactly what we wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, well, I thought that might be it. <laughs> Which is why I brought along the whole kit and caboodle. You know, for three years I was working as a fitter in Turner in St David's and... I did my back in, you know. I've been on compo ever since. Um, there's the um, doctor certificates, the, uh, the documents related to the compensation payments and the x-rays of the damage done to the lower back area. Right, and you were saying this happened three years ago, are you? Yeah, yeah fully documented. Why don't we hang on to these, check with the doctor? If it was up to me, yeah. But um, I need them for the TV people, you know. They're doing a story. Oh. And it, it's, it's them that's paying for the, the new x-rays for comparison, so... As much as I'd love to leave them with you, I can't. But we could photocopy the, uh, the doctor's certificates and the uh, compensation documents, could we? Yeah, yeah, sure. Be my guest. Thank you. Victor, are you saying that Tom Croydon healed you? I, I was on crutches and in pain, and now I'm not. Mate, <laughs> hey, you work it out. Maybe it is psychological. I mean, he's, he's convinced himself for all this time that he had a bad back, and now he's convinced himself that he's cured. Yeah, but, but how do you prove it? At the end of the day, he's... He's off his crutches, he's wandering around, so he's off compo, so where's the problem? The problem is, an hour ago, I assured Inspector Falcon Price that you and Doyle would prove this bloke was a fake. OK. Thank you very much for dinner. It was beautiful. A pleasure. Now, um, oh. I'll see myself out. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. OK, bye. Mm. Bye. <laughs> She's a very good girl. Very strong and very wise. I like her. Mum, why the visit? any reason to visit. Oh, don't use your detective techniques on me, Patrick. I saw the news. I want to see your sergeant. About the healing business, why? You're the detective, Patrick. Are well, you sick? <laughs> I sometimes think men are born two hours later than women and they never catch up. Well, you've never been sick before. I've never been old before. Oh, come on, Mum, you're not old. Time doesn't stand still. Not for you and certainly not for me. So what is it? My lungs. I have holes in them. They won't last as long as they should. Emphysema. Yeah. It's terminal. So now you know why I have to see your sergeant. So he can be healed and I can live long enough to see my grandchildren. Oh, that is, if you ever get around to making any. Mum. Tom Croydon can't heal you. He raised the dead boy and healed the lame man. You can't live without faith, Patrick. Thought you might be hungry. Oh, I'm starving. I went to the pub, but everybody's expecting we'd turn water into wine. Why aren't you home with your mum? What are you doing sitting in the dark? 
avoiding my disciples. I went home as well, but they got the place surrounded. Yeah, I went there myself. I couldn't get through. Oh, the veranda is stacked with flowers. Clothes missing off the line. Digger's bowl's gone. Missing dog bowl. I'll get mm. right onto it. You want some of this? No, I might cook the big meal. PJ. She's dying, Tom. She came here to see you. Christ, PJ. Don't expect me to kill her. You, you, you know that I, I don't believe any of that. You know, look, but she does, and I just thought... You what? Well, you know, you said that psychological thing about Casey, that, that maybe he believed he cured himself. Well, I just thought that if you just touched well, her... Well, pretend just touch, to heal. Oh, come on. The man. human mind, that's the real miracle, Tom. The, look, just keep her fighting. Can't, you, I, I can't. Please, Tom. She, she's my mum. Look, I don't know what the hell is happening here, but... I cannot pretend to be something I'm not. I'm sorry, PJ. I'm sorry. Uh, boss, this is my mum, Helena Hashem. This is uh, Tom Croydon. Uh, Mrs. Hashem, sit down, please. Thank you. I'll leave it to him. What an old bastard. Who? Victor Casey, the compo artist. He's got my mum's hopes up. I mean, now she's convinced the boss can heal her. What, is she sick? Yeah. So, you see, I don't understand it any more than anybody else. Perhaps you don't need to understand it. Perhaps you don't need to do anything if God is working through you. Look, I don't know how God works, Mrs Hashem. But if I told you I could cure you, I'd be lying. I'm sorry. It was silly of me to come all the way up here. Just a silly old woman who needs more time to see her grandchildren born. I really am very sorry. Thank you for your time, Sergeant Crowden. I won't bother you anymore. Goodbye. Yeah, well, can you can you just uh, just check out the X-rays for me? Thanks. Yeah. I'll stay one more night and go home tomorrow. Mum, I really want you to stay. No. When I go home, I want you to visit me with your young lady so I can meet her as I should. Well, you still haven't told me what he said. He's very nice, your sergeant. I like him. Eh? You think I'm silly, don't you? Pinning all my hopes on the miracle. <laughs> Mum. See, in my line of business, we have to do with evidence. And sometimes the evidence leads you in the wrong direction. So you've got to trust your instincts. Now, understand, that's, that's what you're doing. God knows. It might pay off. Yes, he does know. Great. Great, now you called the coppers on me. I didn't, how could I? I've been here with you. You're croiding her in on this together, I reckon. Mum sends me to him, he sends me to you, and now you're going to bounce me back to the cop shop. Who called you lot? Uh, no one called us. Senior Sergeant Croydon wanted to drop by to make sure everything was OK. Having a bad day, Tim? It's blackmail. He says he won't press charges about the missing money, and all I've got to do is talk to him. And what does he want to talk about? God. It's worse than being at home talking to my mother. I've got the guys at school calling me St. Timothy and all the Bible nerds want me to be their mates. This isn't a police matter. I'm building bridges here. The bridge looks a little rickety. Uh, Tim and me are going to be mates. Like hell. I'm out of here in this whole stupid town. Tim, where are you going? As far from here as I can get to Melbourne. Away from me mum, you and Sergeant Bloody Croydon. Well, the x-rays from two different people and guess whose brother was x-rayed for a lower Why back injury know? three years ago? Victor Casey's. Why didn't they check this yesterday? Well, Casey conveniently forgot to take the old x-rays with him when he went to have the new ones taken. And the TV station didn't check this either. Well, why are you going to spoil a good story with a few facts? I suppose you'll be bringing Casey in. He's in the interview room now. Really? Mm -hmm. 
I'm surprised he didn't have to go through his agent. So is uh, Tim Sullivan behaving himself? Uh, well, I don't think he'll be doing his penance in Mount Thomas, boss. He said what? he was on his way to Melbourne. And you didn't try to stop him? Well, he wasn't breaking any laws, boss. All well, the people I could have saved. I'd like to talk to you about using your brother Vincent's x-rays for compensation fraud, Victor. Yeah, I think you're going to have trouble trying to prove that. And um, if you go around spreading rumours about me, I'll sue you for defamation. From inside prison? Y yeah, well, you'll need the original x-rays. And... I think they've gone missing. Well, we could always re-X-ray your brother and compare his to the ones of the videotape of last night's news. Yeah, well, I'm not sure my brother will cooperate. I think a magistrate might take a different view. Well, you're bent on ruining my media career, aren't you? Did he just use the word bent? He did. He definitely said bent. <laughs> As a pretzel. Wanted to sell the story to the media, huh? And you haven't said I told you so. Now I'm going to have to pay you. <laughs> How's your mum? Oh, she's going home tomorrow. How are you? Good. No, really. How are you? Um. Well, she's dying. <sighs> and she's being brave about it, but I'm the one that's actually falling apart. Maybe that's because she knows that dying isn't the end. Two most important people in my life are you and my mum. You both share something that's at the centre of your lives. I don't feel that myself, you know, that certainty. I can't. I don't know what to say to you. Faith is faith. You either have it or you don't. What now? Did he get all the way out here? Well, I didn't steal a car, if that's what you're thinking. Some religious nut gave me a lift on his way to Purvis's new dam. Get in. I don't have to. I'm 16. Look, if you're leaving, at least have the courage to tell your mother to her face. What's it to you, anyway? Come on, son. Get in. Just pretend you didn't see me and drive on. You don't know what it's like. This miracle is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Now my mum never lets up. She wants me to be a priest or something. I want things to go back to the way they were. When I was just a, just a normal kid getting in trouble all the time. No one gave a stuff about me. That's not true. Now I've got everyone breathing down my neck, making decisions for me. You, that old priest guy, and my bloody mum. Come and say goodbye to your mum. Why should I? Because she's your mother and she loves you. Look, Tim, this is the coward's way out. Now, come and say goodbye to your mum, and I'll drive you to the bus station myself. All right. Deal. And you reckon ten minutes? OK, yeah, hang on the line, mate. What is it? John Waterson has put a bomb in Keith Purvis's new dam, and now he's heard that the pilgrims have gone out to bathe in it. Why would he do Mount that? Mount Thomas Station to Mount Thomas 260. Uh, Thomas 260 receiving. Yeah, I've just had a call, received information that a bomb has been set to explode in Keith Purvis's new dam. Uh, the bomb is contained in an old army haversack and it's set to explode in approximately 10... Repeat, 10 minutes. There's no further detail. Now, Thomas 260 can attend in three minutes. Way to go. set to explode. Get him out of here. What's that to say, Tom? There's a bomb in the dam. What's in the dam? Tim, get back in the car. <sighs> I'm glad you did that. That was a pretty brave thing to do. Now you put your life on the line for strangers. I didn't think about it. I just did it. So are you still thinking of leaving? I don't know. I mean, it's hard, isn't it, when something like this happens to you? Yes, it is. Just suppose it was a, you know, 
a miracle. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, you just live your life one day at a time, the best you can. What the uh, do unto others stuff, that's it. Well, that's all any of us has to do, but sometimes it's harder than it sounds. Oh, here we go. Do you want me to be there when you talk to me? No, 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 I think it's about time to deal with this all by myself. Hey, thanks for saving me. Did you speak to your mum? Yep, she said that you need to eat more and I need to eat less. <laughs> How is she? Ah, you know. Did seeing the boss have any effect at all? She said that he's a good man. I like him. But he's just an ordinary man. Mm. So he keeps saying, but I'm not sure that's entirely true. When you came to me looking for answers, Tom, I'm not sure I helped you all that much. Well, it's like you say. It's all a bit complex for easy answers. Look at me, a miracle would be. I mean, two miracles. One of them turns out to be a con trick, and the other one... Oh, I don't know. Don't you? I do know he was dead, and then he was alive. For those that believe, no explanation is necessary. For those that don't, none is possible. <laughs> Jesus.